So we're at uh, Qualcomm here at Computex 2011. What are you showing? We're showing off our dual core chipsets, specifically our MSM8660. And our dual core is up to 1.5 gigahertz for two CPUs. And the big deal we're showing is our chipsets, are, our CPUs are asynchronous. And what that means is the cores are independently controlled. So if you need a lot of power, you can use all both of them. But if you don't, we'll only use what you need so that you get the battery life you want on these devices. So if you think about your smartphone, battery life is most important. So of course you want power, but you definitely want, and performance, but you definitely want battery life. And that's something that we believe asynchronous is really going to give you in the future. All right. So this, uh, this processor is in a few devices announced, right? Correct. HTC Sensation, which is going to be available shortly. It's already available in Europe and I know announced to come shortly to Timo USA. And then the HTC Evo 3D, which is coming to Sprint, which is a glasses-free 3D device. And there's a variety of other devices that have been announced that we're really excited about there's our dual core. One or two over here as well, right? There's a... This one. Isn't it? So this is the SUS iPad Mimo. iPad Mimo. Yeah, but it's announced. It has this the CPU. Yes, so, correct. So uh, it's uh, actually shipping in, in production devices now. The chipset is yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. All right. And so this is this actually device is running Honeycomb, and this was actually announced back at. At, um, oh, somebody put this in Chinese. No fun for me. Um, back at CES, and. And I was going to try to get a game up, but I have to find the local language. Yeah. So definitely a nice tablet that people can do things with and take advantage of. Seven-inch display. Oh, there we go. Um, and this is this is also also dual core. <laughs> yes, these are these are all dual core. A variety of different tablets. We've got definitely seven-inch displays. This is also a, a dual core phone. This is Acer. And um, this actually is really cool because you can do um, full web browsing on a phone, right? So think about being able to just load a video and be able to play it. Nice. So it's actually dual core here. Yep. Cool. There's 8255, this single core still. This is. This is the HTC Flyer. All right. So this is commercially available. And then this is the Lenovo LePad and the Hybrid. So this, I don't know if you're familiar with this one. This yeah. one came out uh -huh. at, um, is available in China. And it's the, the Hybrid, so it's a Win 7 here. If you unlock it, it'll end up looking like that. And you just unlock, and it's now Android. Cool. There it is. Nice, and it's this nice UI. Yeah. All right. So a variety of different devices, single and dual core here at, the, here at Qualcomm. We're excited about all the things going on. Is it, is it going to be uh, Qualcomm and uh, the Chromebooks? In, is there any announcements yet about uh, we've, where we've they can go? We've already said that, we're that Snapdragon supports a variety of different operating systems, including Chrome, so definitely... You know, There's going to be much more coming. Yep. Cool, thanks.